Hi, this is Charles Hoskinson broadcasting live from warm, sunny Colorado. Always warm, always sunny. Sometimes Colorado. Today is November 26, 2023. I hope everybody had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I uh, I feel a heck of a lot better. You know, mostly recovered. Voice is almost back. Uh, coughing is to a minimum. Wearing my ninja suit. I'm going to be doing some cold stuff tonight. And so I figured I'd uh, get all prepped up. Even has a nice little hoodie. There we go. See? Yeah, ninja suit for the win. It's a onesie. How's everybody doing? Today is the surprise AMA. You didn't think it was coming, did you? But it is. Oh, I've missed you. Missed everybody. It's been a lot of fun. You know, the last uh, month has been a whirlwind, you know, traveling all around the world. I went to uh, Dubai and then Abu Dhabi, uh, you know, went over to Greece and then Iceland, had a birthday, turned 36 years old. How about that? That's pretty exciting. You know, and um, just chipping away at things. We had the Cardano Summit. It was really amazing. A lot of fun. You know, uh, uh, seeing all the different projects actually get to the next state and uh, really start building is uh, pretty humbling. You know, I remember in 2021 when we were over in uh, Laramie, Wyoming, of all places, for the Cardano Summit there. And I said, hey, you guys are building now. Smart contracts are on. Let's see what you do with it. And it's uh, pretty amazing to see how much progress has been made. You got OXO and Indigo, you got Jed, you know, you got dozens and dozens of really interesting and cool and sexy NFT projects. Um, and, you know, people are building, people are excited, people are fired up. They're filled with joy and passion. And it's in a deep, deep, deep bear market. Lots of stuff is going on. And we're, uh, we're just, we're just getting there, you know, take some time take some effort. Um, but you guys are getting it done and gals. Uh, and I'm proud of each and every one of you. I'm pretty excited. You know, um, there's still the usual FUD. It's kind of funny. There's hundreds of engineers every single day working on Cardano, just like Cardano, Cardano, Cardano. And they're saying we need to get Orboros Paris out and Genesis out. And there's lots of ledger improvements that need to be made and tons of optimizations. And there's a huge amount of testing and discussion around Leos, which is input endorsers. And then people say, oh, well, they're, 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 they're distracted. The, the, the midnight, they've just moved on. There's no more love here. It's like, that's the entire point of Cardano is to have a surface layer. So we can have dozens of chains that work together to augment your Cardano applications so that you can actually build things that are true Web3. And we're in the meat and potatoes of it. You know, we're working in our way there. Um, governance is coming. If you don't like the direction of things, change it. SIP 1694, you know, it's uh, Sancho Net, I think, is in like 86, 87. There's a huge amount of progress that's been made on the code. A lot of people are building. People are starting to register as DREPs and they're understanding how things work. Uh, and 2024 is really the year of governance. It's the 2023 is the year we built it and talked about it. 2024 is the year we live it. And boy, it's going to be difficult. Hopefully we don't turn into Jacobians. So we'll see. Anyway, I'm real excited about BLS support. I'm real excited about all the things that are coming. Plutus 3 looks amazing. SIP 1694 looks amazing. You know, it's going to be a fun year. Uh, and I'm glad that we're deep into building. And I'm glad that we're starting to bring a lot of best-in-class technologies together. You know, it's, it's super cool to have seen the space evolve over the last 10 years and be able to finally start linking these different things together. We never lost our principles. We never lost our core. You know, we're still in Africa. Got a whole company for it. John O'Connor lives in Kenya. Rolled up all the things we were doing, all the pilot programs, started a company called RealFiCo. And we're putting many, many millions of dollars into it, growing it. And the company's going to basically service the needs of millions to tens of millions of people. Uh, Ethiopia is still going on. Uh, you know, you, some people are floating around saying there's nothing there. Well, I got news for you. We kept the program going despite the fact we haven't been paid and there's a war going on, you know, so we're working hard and we're pushing hard and, you know, we'll just keep rolling out things, uh, you know, and uh, we honor our commitments and we build things, but, you know, it, it's just how the internet works and what people do. Uh, and th that's really sometimes the ultimate frustration is that, 
you know, you can't control the macro. You can't control the politics. In 2021, we lived in an environment where crypto was on fire and everybody wanted to be our friend. Our phone would ring off the hook. Everybody call us and say, hey, you, you, you want to work with us? You, hey, we want to do a pilot. Hey, let's do an MOU. Hey, can you sponsor this? The NFL called me. Fucking NFL. And they said, we think Cardano would be an amazing sponsor uh, for that. I first said, I don't do that. You know, it's other people. Go reach out to the foundation or talk to the Cardano community. And second, I, I don't know if there's an alignment there, you know. Uh, but, you know, Formula One would call us. Formula E would call us. I, I saw Susie Wolf, all these other people. Dozens and dozens of Fortune 500 companies. I go to the Milken Institute and goddamn crypto was special. All the people come on over and say, oh, Charles, you're so brilliant, so amazing, so incredible. Get invited to speak before Congress, all these things. And then FTX collapses, Luna collapses, the bear market comes, the U.S. government turns against crypto and they say, oh, my God, how are you not in jail? You know, uh, you should be broke by now. Your you, you whole crypto industry is evil. Ah, Technology didn't change. The philosophy didn't change. The principles didn't change. Who we are as an ecosystem, uh, that didn't change at all. You know, we just keep building. And today in 2023, Cardano is so much stronger than it was in 2021. But, um, you know, people get caught into these group things. You know, they, uh, they just push forward, you know, and that's okay. That's why we have the AMAs. That's why we engage. That's why we talk to you guys. And, you know, that's why we try as hard as we can to just be human and be direct and connect. Um, you can't always win, but at least you can share in the losses and the, in the gains. Okay. Let's talk to you guys. Let's see what you got. And we will get to the Husk said. <laughs> 